tour of the facility starting out with the recreation field. And this is where they play frisbee, soccer, football, you name it. And this is the volleyball court. As you can see, the sun is setting. Lots of beautiful sunsets here at the end of these facilities. This is the basketball court. Over there is where you gas up vehicles. Um, that's the maintenance building. It's where you park your personal vehicles. This is where the graduates park their vehicles. All on the side. We're walking over here towards the graduates' dorms. As you can see, the basketball court is pretty good, but not, you know, not really that good as it's getting vegetation growing and it's breaking up. Um, the roads here are pretty good. They're all gravel. The graduates' dorms are over there. Separate. I think it's only four to a room. And then there's their washing facilities for their laundry. Here's the mailbox. If you get any packages, it should come in there. Here's where they have um, life vests, canoe paddles, boat paddles, everything. We'll open it up. I'll show you anchors, everything that you need. Alright, we'll walk around the other side where you have batteries and motors for boats. Now if you're an UNDERG student you only want to grab things marked with UNDERG. There's one marked Lodge, UNDERG's marked in red, and then there's Cascade I believe that's here, and some other companies out here. I want to turn on the light first, because it's dark, there's rules and stuff, they want you to wear a mask, you're working with batteries so acid does not splash on your face, you want to check the battery power, wattage and everything, this one looks like it's full, to check, yep, 100%, check that one, might be full. Nope, 85%. So yeah, batteries range, and again, you want to grab the ones marked under. They're marked in red. Let's see if I can grab one. It shows you one in red. Yeah, it says under. And that's about it. That's our battery facility. That's the vehicles that we use. Here's a parking lot up top. You don't want to park vehicles overnight up top. These are different entrances into the Hank Lab. Again, the Hank Lab is where a lot of research goes down. On the top floor, they have drying facilities. They have hoods for working with chemicals. And they have microscopes. Lots of stuff. Wow. One thing that I like here is the American Bald Eagle in a case. Um, at every Notre Dame facility, when walking in, you will see a Christus cross. Um, see. So you go down that way, and down that way, conference room. List of invasive species here on Underk. This one is the uh, Genesis. And calendar. Blah, 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 blah. Clock. So be watching that a lot here. Going downstairs. <coughs> vehicles, you know, put your name on the board, initials, there's mine, and just mark it down for which vehicle, we have blue truck, under van, ninja turtle van, shaggy wagon, mouse van, splinter, 
silver truck, and black truck. And then when you're going out fishing, you just list the date, your name, lake or creek you're going to, time in, and time out, expected time to come back in, and what type of boat. Um, one thing that we have here is snakes and turtles. That's a list of different species. Under it's been around for a long time. A drinking fountain. My own personal tour to remember. If you wanted to find Kramer, he is the assistant director here at under it. And you just come to his board, he usually marks his destination with these markers. Where you can find Hi. Hey Scott. What's up? Your legs is up. <laughs> That's his office. Um, that's Gary's office. And this is where the TAs hang out. That's a copying machine. These are our computers that we have available for use. And then we have a complete library at our disposal. Just come in, get your books, read them, check them out. There's a computer there. And the printing is free. Over here in the back corner, staples. And they're using a conference room. Bathrooms here. First aid right there. Fire extinguisher. This is a chem lab. Again, you want to have long sleeves and pants that go all the way down to cover everything. Just heads in the back. Um, these are jars for using for your specimens or organisms. And this is the classroom. We are equipped with microscopes and just pretty high tech ones. And this one is mine. It's pretty nice. I'll have to put it back. Wrapped up. These microscopes remain at our desk. We have a drawer that we can put our paperwork in. We have another drawer here. Put our paperwork in. We're given a clipboard, compass, and dissecting kit. This is a book I've checked out and checked it back in yet. Okay, you don't have to work on it standing up. I have my notebook. I mean, at this point, it, you just didn't realize that you're going to have to talk to the camera anyway. Right. Microscope. Like I don't imagine you finishing it the next time. There it is. Um, Stabber. Um, I don't know if that's called. Globe. Tweezers. Eyedropper. Scissors. And a knife. Scalpel. And that's about it. This is my station. People have left stuff here. This will all be cleaned up before we leave. We have whiteboards for people to write on. People have written funny things so far. And this is where we clean up our glassware, put it up. Um, the waiters can be hung up here. Those are ones people have left. And waiters can be hung up there. I guess we have baby birds up there. Wow. This is George or the silver truck. We have a mouse van, shag and wagon, black truck, and blue truck. The other vehicles are parked up back behind there. Walk up that trail. Leads to the field, recreation field. Um, this is the front of the facility. That red truck. Is Heidi. She's got problems, so hardly anybody drives it. There's the gator parked in back. I got to use that a few times this summer. Yeah, walking around like this at night 
all you can do is look up at the sky, follow this, the trees, there's Lauren. Um, yeah, it gets really dark where you cannot see anything. So it's best to have a flashlight or learn to navigate by the stars and the tree line. Um, let's see. There are bears out here, but as long as it's not a mama bear, you don't have to worry. And we have tons of mosquitoes that killed one. So it's best to wear mosquito stuff, repellent, otherwise you'll get bit up. This is the road to our dorms from the facility. Yeah, it takes a while to rock, walk around the under facilities here. If you go straight that way, it leads you to the President's Cabin and Killarney Point where we have religious services known as Mass. Then you head that direction goes to Gary's house and the wet lab. This is our dorms. On one half of the house, it's all females. There's four rooms, and there's four to a room. What? I'm, yeah, recording a tour of the facilities. Oh. Say hi. Hi. Okay, here. I'll do it tonight sometime. Okay. I know it's going to take a while. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> That's fine. She's back at the thing, I think. Or at the field. I don't know. But yeah. That's Nicole. These are our bikes. They got messed up this summer. One that can't be ridden. Another one with the peg that fell off. This is the only functioning one, but the brakes are terrible on it. Mm, no. And this is where we grill our foods. This half is the boys' half. Four to a room. And there's four rooms. And the bathroom upstairs and downstairs. Same thing on the girls' side. Picnic table. Places where we can hang up our waiters. Our grill stations, make tanks. We do a lot of grilling out here. Both of them. Big field to play in. That's Kramer's car. He's assistant director. He stays in the dorms. He has his own house downstairs. <coughs> this is a, the common area. There's some upstairs and some downstairs here. People where they place the shoes and everything, hang up the coats, phone, keys the building. We have kitchens on both sides of the house. They look the same. Ours is pretty cool. My area is right here. All my food and everything. I have my snack bag getting prepared for. Thursday. Did I scare you? No. Oh. Yeah, here's one of the students cooking right now. He's making a cinnamon pancake. And they made chocolate pancakes or cookies or whatever. Um, my food, I usually prepare days ahead and put it away. I mean, steak and potatoes. And then I also cooked pizza up. Get prepared again to head out. Um, let's see. Vegetables. 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 And a lean cuisine for me. And again here at Underk, you're allowed to have alcoholic beverages under, what, 7%? I don't know. Yeah, just as long as you're 21. Yeah, you have to be 21 years of age, um, it's under 7%, so just mainly church wines and beer. We have microwaves, two of them on each side. Let's see. Oh yeah, again, 
the Christus when you walk into every building they have one of these at Notre Dame um, here's our side of the room our bathroom facilities we have two showers two toilets and our sinks this is my side a radio shaving stuff fingernail clipping stuff toothbrush toothpaste hair gel my clock and my hairbrush keep my hair looking good and we have windows here open them up otherwise it'll set off the fire detector fire alarm people have done that not here but at other other times when they've had under and again we have a red light all night long it's an exit light so you're able to close the door but we also have a top light here you're able to close the door it gets pretty dark we have a big light here we have sofas trash can bunk beds desk desk closets for our clothes and these closets already have hangers pretty spacious and we have drawers where we can put stuff and for each room that is above um, a certain amount of feet we have ladders and all you do is just pop out the screen and climb down to safety if there's a fire or an emergency um, again there's fire detectors in here and there's my bed getting ready to go everything's all packed up my dirty laundry you gotta wash that and that is your tour of under appreciate you watching and paying attention you have a good day.